now this is the question related to ratio analysis this was asked for four marks in university examination and we are asked to calculate debt equity ratio proprietary ratio from the information the information is equity share capital 5 lakhs preference share capital 3 lakhs reserves 2 lakhs current liabilities 1 lakh 8 percent debentures fixed assets 10 lakhs and current assets 4 lakhs this information is provided and we are asked to calculate what ratio ratios of debt equity ratio and proprietary ratio when you come to the answer how to calculate these ratios ratio analysis is a very important topic as far as the exams are concerned and i have already covered the video related to formulas i will share those video links in the description box please do watch those videos to understand better all the formulas are available so first debt equity ratio what is the formula of debt equity ratio long term debt divided by shareholders fund when you talk about the long term debts long term debts given in the information is only one item that is 8% debentures rupees 3 lakhs then long term debts in the sense any liability any debt which is payable over a period of time that is minimum 5 to 10 years right 5 years are minimum and 10 years 20 years that is a long term loan raised by the company will be ready in the future then shareholders fund what do you mean by shareholders fund shareholders fund refers to equity share capital plus preference share capital plus all the reserves and surplus that is pnl account general reserve capital reserve all those comes into reserves and surplus so all this collectively called as shareholders fund so when you see the shareholders fund we have equity share capital is 5 lakhs preference share capital is 3 lakhs and reserves are 2 lakhs so the summation is 10 lakhs is the what shareholders fund so once we get long term liabilities and shareholders fund we can apply the formula and get the answer so long term debts are 3 lakhs and shareholders fund is 10 lakhs that is equals to 0 0.3 r we can call it as 30 percent even the ratio if you multiply with 100 that will become percentage so 0 0.3 is the debt equity ratio in the sense the total debt out of the shareholders fund is 0 0.3 of the organization in this way we can conclude this ratio and the next ratio is proprietary ratio the formula of proprietary ratio is shareholders fund divided by total assets what is the percentage of shareholders fund out of the total assets of the firm that will be represented through proprietary ratio very important ratio for making decisions in financial decision making so total assets is equals to fixed asset plus current assets that is fixed asset given 10 lakhs current assets 4 lakhs 14 lakhs is the total assets then apply the formula because already we have calculated the shareholders fund 10 lakhs just now we calculated 10 lakhs divided by 14 lakhs into 100 that is 0.71 or 71 percent if you multiply with 100 it refers to what the shareholders fund is 71 percent out of the total assets of the firm so this is the precise way of calculation of these ratios clear now we will take up the long questions long question which is uh, which was asked as a 10th question b bit so we have provided the entire what uh, income statement that is pnl account and we are asked to calculate gross profit ratio net profit ratio operating ratio operating profit ratio administrative expenses ratio very simple to calculate this because information is already available in the question now we will take up the answer again i have taken the question when you come to the solution first is gross profit ratio gross profit is already given gross profit carry down is 2 lakh 1000 what is the formula gross profit ratio is equals to gross profit by net sales into 100 whenever we are calculating profitability ratios net sales plays a very important role because the profit will be generated from sales only so gross profit is already given 2 lakh 1000 divided by net sales are 5 lakh 60000 given in the question multiply with 100 you will get the answer 35.89 percent in the sense your gross profit percentage is 35.89 percent right so this is the way we can calculate gross profit ratio now net profit ratio already net profit ratio formula is net profit by net sales into 100 net profit directly given in the question that is 80,000 net sales are already available 80,000 divided by 5,60,000 into 100 14.29 percent in the sense our total net profit out of total sales is 14.29 percent whereas gross profit is 35.89 percent out of our total sales 
once this is done the next is operating ratio this is very important ratio as far as the exams are concerned formula of operating ratio is equals to operating cost divided by net sales into 100 now we must understand operating cost because our net sales is net sales already available in the question operating cost is equals to cost of goods sold that is cogs plus operating expenses operating expenses is equals to administrative expenses office expenses selling expenses collectively called as operating expenses which do not include of non operating expenses and financial expenses even will not be included here so when you see the question what are the operating expenses we have we have admin expenses and selling and distribution expenses that is 20000 and 89000 collectively 19000 are operating expenses we don't take non operating expenses which is directly given next is what cost of goods sold cost of goods sold, goods sold formula is sales minus gross profit one more formula we have but it is better to use this formula as the information is directly available what is other formula other formula of cogs is opening stock plus purchases plus all direct expenses minus closing stock but here we can utilize this formula sales minus gross profit sales is 5 lakh 60 gross profit is 2 lakh 1000 3 lakh 59000 is our COGS. Once you get COGS and operating expenses, the operating cost is equals to 3,59,000 plus 1,9,000 that is 4,68,000. Once you get operating cost, net sales we have already. So apply the formula operating cost 4,68,000 divided by 5,60,000 into 100 that is 83.57%. This is our what? Operating ratio. In the sense, total operating cost of the firm is 83.57%. Clear? Once this is done, we need to calculate operating profit ratio. Operating profit ratio is equal to operating profit by net sales into 100. What is our operating profit? Operating profit is equal to net sales minus operating cost. Already we have operating cost, therefore net sales is 5,60,000 minus operating cost is 4,60,000 is equal to 1 lakh is the operating profit. Clear? Now apply the formula 1 lakh is operating profit into operating profit 1 lakh divided by 5 lakh 60,000 is the net sales into 100 that is equals to 17.86%. In the sense what precisely your operating profit is 17.86% out of your what total sales 17.86% is your operating uh, what we call profit. And operating profit ratio also we can get 1 minus or 100 minus operating ratio. 100 minus 83.57 will get 17.86 or nearly that value 17. Right. Or else operating profit ratio is equals to 1 minus operating ratio or operating ratio is operating ratio is equals to 1 minus operating profit ratio. 1 or 100 you can take. Right. In this way you can calculate operating ratio. Once you calculate operating ratio, the final one is administration, administrative expenses ratio. The formula is administrative expenses divided by net sales into 100. Admin expenses directly given 20,000 divided by 5,60,000 as net sales into 100, 3.57. Total, out of the total sales, admin expenses are 3.57%. So in this way, we can easily calculate what ratio analysis. I hope I have given you clear crystal picture of ratio analysis calculations. I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe my channel, Mentor the Trusted Guide and motivate me to make more qualitative, informative videos. Thank you very much.